Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and today we are going to be looking at how to install your brand new Ryzen 9000 series processor such as the Ryzen 5 9600X that we have here. There are a couple of reasons why I want to do this video. First and foremost, if you're upgrading from the AMD Socket AM4 platform, you probably won't know that the new CPUs don't have any pins on the rear. You, instead, you just get a load of gold pads as you can see here. The pins themselves have been moved into the CPU socket and they are extremely delicate. Now Intel people, you will probably know about this already because Intel has had a uh, has had the pins in the socket for quite a while. AMD only made this move recently with socket AM5, which is what this is. So the main reason for me doing this video though are the pins that are in the processor socket now are extremely fragile. It is very easy to damage them if you don't know what you're doing or you accidentally drop the processor from a height into the socket. So we're going to be looking at, the, at a foolproof way of avoiding that damage today in this video. Now, first and foremost, you just want to make sure that your motherboard is out of the case like it is here. You don't really want to be doing this when the motherboard is in the case because it makes your life a lot harder. And also, you want to just discharge yourself on a pipe or a radiator or something or use an anti-static wristband. Next, I'm going to be using some protective gloves to protect the processor and just allows me to hold it any which way I want to uh, without transferring anything onto the back of the processor. The gold pads are gold, obviously, and they don't corrode or oxidize or anything like that. And the CPU is, at the end of the day, designed to be handled, but it still... Uh, just pays to take a few extra precautions. So the first thing we want to do is just practice holding the processor, just making sure that we've got a good grip on it. I like to kind of hold it from this side um, so we get good access to a view of the notches here because you want to align these notches with the notches in the processor socket and uh, also the triangle up here, the gold triangle aligns with the triangle in the socket as well. So it's pretty difficult to align this thing the wrong way. In fact, it's impossible because those notches won't align and you won't be able to close the uh, close the latch properly on the processor. Lastly, uh, in terms of orientation, if your eyesight is particularly bad, then you can just use the logos here and they just basically sit upright as your motherboard does. So the AMD logo sits at the top of the socket here, uh, usually against the top of your motherboard uh, heat sinks and that kind of stuff. So that's three ways of aligning your processor. Now, first of all, we want to open the processor socket like this or open the latch. And you want to leave this black cap in place the whole time. That will be pushed out by the processor when it needs to and it is there to protect your processor socket. So leave that in place for now. I'm just going to open the processor socket like this. Uh, open the latch and then we want to get that good grip of our processor and you want to move it from right to left over the processor socket at a very low height and then just drop it into the processor socket. Well, don't drop it, kind of put the left edge in first and then just allow it to lay flat into the socket like that. What you don't want to do is bring the processor over really high and then down because if you drop it, it's going to go straight into the processor socket and probably damage some pins and probably break them beyond repair. So now we've got the processor in the socket like so. We can lower the latch and then we want to bend the latch back down, hook it under the little pin on the side here. And as you just heard, the black cap has popped out itself. Now, the latch does need a reasonable amount of pressure. Now, if it feels like that pressure is excessive, then it's possible that the processor isn't seated properly and the latch is having to work against the ridge of the processor down here or something like that. If that feels like um, what's happening, that you're having to apply too much pressure, then just release the, the, uh, the latch back up open the open the latch and um, basically just check that the processor is seated properly in the socket and hopefully that won't be the case and you can just go ahead and uh, lower it down here. So I'm just gonna lift this up again so we can get a good look at everything in here. You can see the two notches on the uh, sort of slight left side of the center line there on the processor and another one up here. They um, basically ensure that the processor isn't rotated the wrong way. And also over here, you can see the two gold triangles aligning as well. So they're only in one corner. So we'll just lower that down again, apply a reasonable amount of pressure, should be fairly easy to do. And there we go. That is your processor installed and that is it for the video today. A very quick guide, but hopefully even if it just prevents one of you guys out there from damaging your processor socket, it's mission accomplished here for me today. So that's it. Thanks for watching Crazy Tech Lab. Don't forget to like and comment on this video if you found it informative. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more guides, features and reviews. And you can see my review of the Ryzen 9000 series here on the channel using the description down below. Uh, there's a link down there for you for that review or in the just or in the banner up above that's it from me take care and i'll see you soon